I remember that Governor Jerry Brown was here in May of last year, and he gave a speech to maybe two or three hundred people. Many of them were scientists, engineers. And he stood up there and he said, you have to do more. You engineers and some politicians, you have to do more because the concentration of carbon is increasing. And, and then he said, I want new approaches. Okay? And then he also said, you have to become activists. It's not just good enough to do your science and all of that. You have to go out and be an activist. To be an activist, one has to persuade. Okay? So my first strategy that I suggest is to rediscover the only three ways one persuades. Okay? And the first approach is what we all use, but mostly engineers, scientists, ac many academics use, and that is to appeal to people's sense of logic. Okay? And, and an example of the return on investment. It's all figured out. That's logic, okay? Logic. The second approach is to appeal to their emotions. Okay? And you know, art helps, entertainment helps, and I try to appeal to people's emotions with my art. But if you want to be an activist and you're thinking just about appealing to emotions, you know, you ought to arm yourself with another technique of appealing to the emotion. And then there is the third and the last approach to persuasion, and that is positive association. Okay? Now I want to give you an example of the use of positive association. Here I am, and this gentleman gave me a little compliment before, this gentleman gave me a compliment. I'm getting associated with important people and organizations. It gives me more credibility. And I think if you want to go out and try to persuade people to be more aggressive in supporting the state's policies of trying to minimize the impact of climate change, you want to try to sharpen your skills on each of those three approaches.